Hi everyone, it's Kino here. There's a posture in the closing sequence of Ashtanga Yoga called Plow Posture in English or Halasana Posture. You want this movement to be about relaxation, about turning the energy inward, not so much about striving and achieving. Rather than rounding the back in this posture, you want your hips to be really lifted. So pay careful attention to what goes on with my sitting bones and my lower back when we get into this posture. So this is traditionally entered from shoulder stand, but today we'll just enter it from lying down. You're taking your legs here for a moment to collect your pelvic floor and to make sure the pelvis is nice and aligned. Then you're going to press your hands into the ground while you lift the hips with their own strength as you inhale, taking the legs over your head. Nice and easy. Touch your toes to the ground. If you can't touch your toes to the ground and you're up here, you're going to keep your hands on your lower back and you're not going to go any further than this, all right? If your toes touch to the ground, release the lower back, take your fingers, interlock them on the floor, and roll onto the shoulders, okay? And instead of hanging down here, you actually want to press your shoulders into the ground to create space around your neck. You'll notice that my neck is not smushing into the ground, but the neck is really lifted. Now the next key to Halasana is that instead of slouching down or slouching forward, what we want is you want to imagine that from your hip joints, we're lifting upward so the spine is as straight and lifted as possible. Find your sitting bones, reach the sitting bones straight up to the ceiling from the base inside of your pelvis. And this is the full plow posture. All right? You want to use your legs, pulling your legs right into the hip joints. And this posture is held for traditionally about eight breaths. And then after this posture, we would move into Karnapidasana and continue the closing posture sequence. But for today, that was just Halasana. If you don't know what Karnapidasana is, you can check out my, other, my channel for that video as well. And you can continue the whole sequence in the Ashtanga Yoga closing practice.